Hey guys, it's me, Six Star Power, and I thought I'd do this tutorial about Chain of Memories. It, I had a friend come to me about cards, and it, cards can be the most pickiest thing during Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Why? I don't know. It's the way this game is programmed, it's the way we're doing it, it's pretty difficult. So I thought I'd try to explain what to do when you're halfway through the game, maybe to the point you're at Lark Scenes. I don't know. Battle? I don't know. But, you can tell in this example, this is more complicated because it's my my video, but I thought I'd do a quick video about what to do. When I say get a new deck, either get one that you don't use, meaning one of your spares, your second or third, or get rid of a deck that you hardly use anymore. This is very important to the entire game. So, get a fresh one. And the next step will be right here. This deck may seem really big, but it's just everything combined. Don't worry. It's not too big. So what you need for dark cards is a Jafar card and an Oogie Boogie card. The Jafar will help with non-breakage cards, and Oogie Boogie will regenerate your health if you need it. But they will only be used once, so keep that in mind. I think Keyblades are very important in the game. Like any other game, they would have abilities, they'll have strength. I think this is what I think. I think they matter in this. So you're going to choose like the numbers z zero and anything five and over because any low cards and you can risk of a powerful opponent breaking your card. So that's the key to my experience. In every deck of cards, you need some sort of healing item. I recommend either they come in forms, or if you can find yourself a couple elixirs, use them. Also, add in a couple of cures. These are very important, so add them to the bottom of your list. Depending on your opponent, add some blizzard or fire spells, maybe thunder spells too. Now we're going to go over our thing again, our slights. It's our keyblade attack card, so we need zero cards and five and over. This is because if you're if you have like one, three, and four or whatever, your opponent may pull out a five or a nine and just destroy you. You won't be able to attack and you get stuck. Your magic cards, you may put this before or after. It depends if you're prepared for a battle that needs magic cards or whatever, but it's your choice. Either as an elixir, still restore your cards to a certain point and your dark cards. I wouldn't be surprised if you don't have much room for all of these cards, but try starting with as little as possible. Maybe with uh, Keyblade cards, I don't really know how much room you have. If you don't have any room, just train up and just keep putting CP. Just get CP when you level up. So that way you can get card points and you get more room and you can add more room. But I really, really do recommend getting the dark cards in, like... You need the Oogie Boogie because if you don't have your cure spells or anything to cure yourself, Oogie Boogie can heal you up last second and he'll fill, fill you up all the way to the thing or whatever. And Jafar, I, if you don't want it, you don't want it, but I just recommend those two main cards. Cards are optional, like a lot of cards are. Um, if you want like any other cards, you can try getting another dark card in your inventory. You can get a magic card, a attack card, a summon card. It's all these things, but however, a lot of cards aren't are an option. They have to come in the world and they'll come out to you, if you know what I mean. So yeah. However, some cards aren't an optional or come to you. Um, I found out recently, not too long ago, I found it on the internet that cards like Xemnas you have to find. And I have a link for that. So in the link in the description, I'll leave a couple links, like the video I showed and this link that you're looking at. This this is the first one I found. It'll give you in information and all these things about cards, like like I said. Um, I believe there was a reason that cards were, had strength and all that, and you can tell right here. There's things about cards, keyblades, magic, like you can tell from here. These things were re are really, really helpful. I hope these help. But then there's enemy cards, which, which I'm, which I recommend you guys looking at, because there might be something you might find useful for yourself more than me. 
because everyone's different in this game. They will want my method or they want their own method. I'm like, go for it. Find what suits for you. So you can find all these things. It's not just about Heartless, by the way. You can find, if you go up near the bottom more, you can find, see, this is what I was talking about. Um, you can find Organization 13 um, cards. I never really witnessed an Organization 13 card except for Vexen and Lexius and all that. Um, some of them you have you have to earn through Riku side of the story, and some you have to earn through Sora side of the story. So, I wish you all the best of luck to finding these and understanding this game even more, because I am not that very good at this game, and I just want to gather this information as best I could. So please don't be harsh through the comments, okay? <laughs> I'm fragile, really, really fragile. <laughs> so, yeah. So I hope this link helps. So I'll see. So yeah. So if you guys like, leave a like and feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, I'll on my channel there's playlists of Sora and Riku. So if you want to see how I did it, just know my mic kind of broke halfway through um, my old Kingdom of Heart games. So yeah. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.